There's a powerful new security feature in Android 16 that we'll hopefully see in Samsung's One UI 8 update too. From shady apps to weak connections, your phone faces all kinds of threats. Luckily, Android has built-in security tools to help protect your device and data. And with Android 16, Google is taking that protection to the next level with advanced protection mode. Android 16 is now rolling out to supported devices, and along with it comes advanced protection mode. While beta users might have already seen it, it's now available on the stable version too. To check it, go to Android 16 settings greater than security and privacy. You'll see a card saying advanced protection is available for your device. It's designed to block online threats, harmful apps, unsafe connections, and other risks. If you don't see the card, scroll down to advanced protection under other settings. On that page, you'll find a device protection toggle. There's also a link to enable a full advanced protection program in your Google account. Here's what you get with Android 16 QPR1 on Pixel phones. Device theft protects your phone if it's lost, stolen, or seized. Inactivity reboot restarts your phone if it stays locked for three days. Apps shield you from unsafe apps and memory bugs. Google Play protects scans apps for malware and other threats. Unknown apps blocks apps from outside sources. Memory tagging stops memory-based attacks in certain apps. Networks avoids weak or unsafe connections. 2G blocking on some devices prevents use of old, insecure networks. Web protection keeps you away from dangerous websites. Safe browsing blocks harmful pages automatically. Chrome Alerts warns about sites that aren't at HTTPS. JavaScript restrictions disables risky features on some sites. Phone app helps spot scam calls. Caller ID in spam alerts shows who's calling and flags spam. Auto call screen blocks sketchy calls before they reach you. If the option isn't showing up yet, try restarting your phone running Android 16. Even more features are coming later this year, though availability will depend on the phone brand. These include intrusion tracking, USB protection, blocking auto-connect to unsafe networks, and scam call detection in the phone app. Do you want this feature in One UI 8? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. Android 16 is out, but if you're a Samsung user, the real upgrade isn't here yet. One UI 8 is coming, and it might be worth the wait. Google has officially rolled out the stable Android 16 update today, marking the earliest major release in years, starting with Pixel phones. Samsung users, however, will need to wait longer. Here's what Android 16 delivers and why Galaxy owners are still on standby. The stable Android 16 brings a refreshed UI, improved notifications, better accessibility, enhanced security, and tablet upgrades. Pixel users can try it right away, while Samsung fans await One UI 8, launching with the Galaxy Z7 series next month. Android 16 features the new Material U3 Expressive design, which improves usability across the board. It offers a cleaner layout, smoother transitions, and a more cohesive style. Pixel phones get it first, while Samsung's One UI will apply it later on. Notifications from the same app are now grouped to reduce clutter. Live updates from services like YouTube show info in real time. Samsung's Now Bar will eventually support this feature in a future One UI release. For hearing aid users, Android 16 enhances clarity during calls by using the phone's mic to filter out noisy environments. Built-in controls now let users change hearing device settings like volume directly from the system. Android 16's advanced protection boosts security with stronger defense against online threats, shady apps, and scam calls. You can enable it in one tap. Samsung users will get similar security features through One UI in due time. On tablets, Android 16 adds desktop-style windowing so apps can be resized and moved freely. Though inspired by Samsung's DeX, this feature arrives later. Custom keyboard shortcuts and taskbar overflow are also part of the upgrade. The update also adds HDR screenshots, dynamic refresh rates, and identity checks. More Material U3 changes will hit Pixel devices and Wear OS 6 soon. Samsung's One UI skin delays and Android rollouts mean Galaxy phones may get Android 16 weeks or even months later, though a July launch seems likely. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.